early this morning 6 30 we on it today I'm heading down early um, we have a daily rental this morning so I have to go down and make sure the code is good I had put a code in there but I'm just gonna double check make sure there's a code in the door for them um, I'd remove a chair from the, the salon chair from the daily rental room i had borrowed it to, to put in another room so i'm just gonna get another one and put in that room make sure everything is good um so i'm heading down early before anyone gets there and um clean up real quick make sure everything is good at the salon so um i'm gonna head out now I'm just making probably gonna have some coffee this morning um, yeah. but yeah um thank you thank you thank you again guys for the subscribe um i'm doing very well when it comes to that um hold on guys let me check and see where i'm at now but i appreciate you guys i appreciate the subscribe guys um i'm almost at a thousand i'm right at around 930 930 subs guys 70 more uh subscribers to make it to that to that thousand um you know the goal guys that the, the journey is to you know show you what's going on in life every day and and obviously you know reach that thousand so we could get monetized guys um, um i challenged myself and said you know by the end of the year i would give myself end of the year or next year um to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours um so i appreciate you guys i appreciate you guys subscribing hitting that button um thank you thank you thank you um yeah it's it's gonna be way sooner than i expect guys um, in terms of not getting monetized but get the subscription i still have to get a uh, four thousand watch hours um still low on watch hours but you know it's getting there so hopefully by the end of the year but it's gonna be sooner than I, I thought I appreciate you guys watching I appreciate you guys tuning in thank you for watching um, so yeah um, I'm gonna head down to the salon I'm just gonna make a quick cup of coffee probably I'm gonna drink coffee this morning as I said I don't drink coffee every day I just drink um, mostly hot water so but today I'm going to drink some coffee. It's super early. I got a lot to do today. Um, I might not be coming back home after I finish cleaning the salon. Um, I have some errands to go run. So I'm going to um, do all of that. I won't be back till maybe 11 or 12. So coffee would probably be good this morning. Um, as I said, I fast every morning. I don't eat till 12, 1 o'clock, somewhere there about. Um, I try to push it down to two, so I'm doing a, a fast. So, um, you know, if I'm gonna stay all all day until twelve, more, you know, I'll just drink coffee if I'm busy. All right, guys. So stay tuned. I'm gonna head head out. It's dark outside. There's no sunlight at this point, so I'm gonna head out uh, to the salon. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. As I said, this morning, sun is not even out yet. It's barely peeking out, guys. Um, it's, it's, sun is rising. It's just six fifty-two to be exact. And see, it's just coming out. The light, the skies are just lighting up. The skies are just lighting up. But yeah guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm heading over to the salon. Um, you know, I was just saying a while ago, thank you to the subscribers. I appreciate it guys, I appreciate it. I can't stress that enough. I have to talk some more about it, you know. Um, I was just saying that a while ago that, you know, I'm at 9.30, you know. It's, it's 
a blessing guys yeah, yeah. Um, I've been putting in you know content 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 you know even if it's not content that you guys some of you guys might not like it you know what I'm saying it is a talking vlog it is a life every day you know a lot of people say the, the you know people don't watch life every day stuff you know people who post their lives every day I don't think so um, you know there's a lot of TV shows came from just two people vlogging their life you know what I'm saying uh, there's people in the business right now that has TV shows on some of these networks that came from them just vlogging just what I'm doing right not saying that I want to go get a own, my own TV show I don't have any drama like that to, to, to have a TV show you never know the networks probably figure something out and create drama however I don't have any drama like that like that but I just choose to you know vlog my life every day right and what I do it could be something I'm just doing the same thing every day but people tend to watch that as well you know um, as I said there's a there's a there's a a need for everything right or, or there's an audience for everything that you post put it that way right there's there's an audience for whatever you post if you get up every day and post the sunrise every morning you got people out there who is gonna watch that right if you post the sunset you're gonna have people just watching the sunset there's an audience for everything you see guys so this might be a little bit of motivation to some people where they don't know what to post post anything there's an audience for it I bet you any money I haven't checked but I bet you any money if you put if you go ahead and put type in sunset daily sunset um, in YouTube you're gonna see a channel I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it I'm driving now so I can't do it but I'm gonna check if you type in sunset everyday sunset or sunset everyday I bet you any money someone is out some someone out there is, is posting the sunset wherever they are every day or every week and if you check those views I bet you any money there is views right even if it's one view there is a view so all I'm saying is there's an audience for everything so if you type in sunrise every day you're gonna see stuff show up as well if you put water running in a river whatever you type that that outlet this YouTube outlet it has something somebody post something pertaining to whatever you type in it's very rare you type something in YouTube and nothing comes up very rare um, the, 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 the platform has gotten so big to where I feel like if there if you type something in there and there's nothing coming up I believe YouTube um, direct people to create that type of stuff so you so it'll, it'll fill that 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 you know that search that that didn't have anything on it if you get what I'm saying so you know that platform is has a little bit for everything guys I don't think there's something that you post and no one views it there's always someone it might not do as well as someone else's content but you know someone is gonna watch yours you know hence mine you know I'm here talking all these things and, and there's a lot of people who might not just listen to what I'm saying they don't want to listen to what I'm saying because because it's boring it's I'm talking I'm however there's a lot of youtubers out there I watch talking vlogs all the time because I'm a talker right when it comes to you know when I when I'm in the mood so I watch some of those youtubers um, there's a couple male and female youtubers they just talk about random stuff right and I find myself watching them just to you know what I'm saying hear what they're saying you know sometimes it's nonsense sometimes it's just life every day I, I watch this girl over there in Colombia and she she's in a little uh, 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 area where it's it's a poorer era apparently she grew up poorer 
and you know she she's now doing her thing hundred you know over a hundred thousand subscribers and she just film her village and what she do every day she travels you know in, in and around Colombia and shows us what it looks like you know out there in the desert of Colombia in the jungle of Colombia you know she's everywhere out in there in the little small cities in the you know poor sections of, of Colombia she's showing us that right but she lives there so she ain't trying to bring the country down or anything like that she's just vlogging her life and what she's doing pretty much she's doing what I'm doing yeah, but she's doing it in Colombia in her little hometown she shows us what she get up and do in the daytime and you know what I'm saying just just stuff anything random anything and I didn't see her before I started this channel I pretty much started doing my thing and then I guess the algorithm figured out I'm doing what she's doing and then she started popping up in my feed and then I started watching her because our, I guess our content is similar you know what I'm saying and I'm looking at that and I'm saying she's got a hundred and hundred and maybe a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers somewhere there about so with that being said people are watching her there's no way she should have had that a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers and no one is watching so you know all I'm saying there's an audience for everybody no matter what you do you could there's a friend of mine told me about um, a channel that all he does is scratch a lot of tickets so he just buys a lot of tickets and scratch it and he shows you while he's scratching it and stuff like that he's got I believe it's over 100,000 subscribers as well he's been doing it a while and that's just scratching a lot, lot of tickets that's it <laughs> he just buys a lot of tickets and scratch it so you know it don't matter what you do guys there's an audience that's all I'm saying you know so for those people who wants to start a YouTube channel or you could just start with whatever you could start with a life every day start with unboxing stuff there's a lot of people unboxing stuff reviews you know there's never enough reviews because there's always a different take on, on that same item so you will buy let's say there's a particular camera that came out there's a uh, thousands of people reviewing that camera right however if you're if you make a thousand and one person right that reviews that camera you might have review that camera in a different perspective like or use it in a different way than that thousand people you know what I'm saying you might have tested it in a different way where me who are who's buying that I that item you know might find it interesting the way you reviewed it and and that that's gonna make determine make me determine if I want it or not you know what I'm saying so all I'm saying is guys just if, if you if you want to start YouTube just start it start it with whatever you want to start it with and choose something you ain't got to choose no niche you ain't gonna try you know what I'm saying a friend of mine was saying that he's gonna start you know, a particular niche man there ain't no niche in this thing just do what you gotta do and figure out you know what I'm saying you ain't gonna do something that no one's absolute of course you know what I'm saying you're trying to find something that people will watch but at the same time if you're trying to grow fast and make money then you're gonna want to find that you know something that's that trending and to do right however even if it's not nothing trending or just start start with something they'll watch it trust me they'll watch it um, not everyone you got millions of people all over the world this platform is for the world right it's not just in America. I'm here in America and, and it's what, 300 million people? Let's say 200 million or even 150 million actually has YouTube, right? That they watch on, on there. Even if it's just 100 million people watch, have access to YouTube and watches YouTube. Then you have 100 million people. Out of that 100 million people, someone out there must be interested in your 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 what you're doing you know what I'm saying so at the end of the day you know just start what you gotta start and do what you gotta do you know what I'm saying do what you gotta do and you'll be alright you know 
if I was gonna watch what I'm doing, I would have never started, you know. But for me, it wasn't like that. It wasn't a case where I wanted to do it all this time and never did it. For me, I was just doing other stuff and busy and, you know, didn't have the time to take up the camera or never thought of it. And sometimes you had a point in life where you don't want to be putting your stuff out there. So now I'm in a point where I can, you know, put stuff out there. Um, a lot of times, guys, I'm, you know, I've found that, you know, doing this right here, you, you, I face the challenge of should I put this out there or should I don't put this out there? But at the end of the day, who cares, man? If 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 you ain't putting this out there to the world right now, right? You're still coming on the road and doing going here. But people know that you own right here. People know that you're you're you know, what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm here cleaning up stuff and cleaning toilets and doing all of that crap, right? And maintain maintaining all of that. Some people might say they don't want to put themselves doing that. For me, I don't care because people are seeing me doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's not private. It's not private. That's that's what we gotta do. Some people do that. Some people sit around a desk. Some people do roofing. It. Bro, it's life. People, it's life, right? This is just what I chose to do, or I'm doing. And that's what you guys do. You got people out there who, who never done that before. They, you know, live a rich lifestyle and they, they sit on boats every day and that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do. So, proud of what I do. That's what pay my bills, so I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in none of that, all right? So some people might not want to do a particular thing because of pride or because of whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? Guys. Just get out and do it. Nothing is private in this. In 2024, nothing is private. If you try to hide where you live, what you do, they could find you. If you go anywhere you do, anything you do online, you got to put your name, address, phone number, your, your date of birth, your social security. The person you are talking to on the phone or behind that screen, they could see all of that. <laughs> so... It's not private. Unless you're off the grid, no one knows. But if you have a cell phone, if you have a, 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 a internet, if you have, if you pay for light, water, gas, and you set up an account, <laughs> they got it. <laughs> so nothing is private, guys. So if you hear out here trying to hide your social, hide your this, hide your name, hide, man, the, the people who wants to know, will find you right so i'm just saying nothing is private right if you're living in america your government or wherever you live your government have all the information and when you were born all of that was recorded so if you're trying to hide all of that it ain't gonna happen you know what i'm saying in most cases if you even own a house or rent it somewhere or anything like that just google your name right now <laughs> Google your name and see if something don't come up. If you had a Facebook account or an Instagram account or any kind of account, chances are you're gonna come up. Your name is gonna come up. If I if I get a hold of your phone number or whoever or whatever, and I type it in, it's gonna come up. So as I said, nothing is private um, nowadays. So that's why I, I decided to you know I could loosen up a little bit and start doing what I'm doing. Yes, of course, people might say. Yeah, you're giving them your exact location. You're giving them everything. Yeah, I am. But that's, you know what I'm saying? It, it, they would say like you're putting it in their hands. Yeah, you're putting it in their hands. But at the same time, you're already in their hands. <laughs> it's just a matter of time if they want to choose you or not to come and, you know what I'm saying? Do what they got to do or, you know, get into your life and mess up stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, for those who ain't following, I'm talking about malicious people you know what i'm saying and and privacy and all of that that's what i'm talking about so just brunch is getting ready to open so all the employees are coming in right now parking lot is empty i have the barber there's one barber here already so guys let me go inside real quick i'm gonna end this one out let me go inside real quick and um and start cleaning up um there's one barber here already so let me let me go in and and get cleaning and, and see if I could um, 
sort sort um, sort the salon out because I gotta go by 8 30 I gotta be somewhere so let me hurry up and get this place clean guys stay tuned all right guys so um, at the salon <coughs> we got the got it clean floors are clean front kiosk clean vacuum the hallways however um, that front daily rental room I borrowed one of these chairs from it to move to another room so I'm putting back I already took it up there so I'm replacing the chair in there and I'm replacing the cabinet I took it out um, to do some work so <coughs> um, I already took it up there you know, use the hand truck right there and let me show you what's going on let me turn this off So this was the chair I had borrowed. I put it in the next room over there by the barber shop and then this I had taken out because I was doing some work right here. So it's good to go now. Um, I already programmed the door. Just got coded doors. So I already programmed the door. I'm just gonna clean this mirror, clean that mirror. And then I already vacuumed in here. We got a new garbage bag in here. Um, so now all I gotta do is just um, lock it up and clean the mirror and we're good to go. Yeah, so that's what I do guys. Um, I maintain this property right here. What I do for a living. So I got Windex. Um, I'm gonna set you up over here, guys. So I got an alarm, so I gotta go. Um, I have to go um, run some errands, another errand. So I'm gonna leave. I'm done here now, though, anyway. So I'm just cleaning out this one wall right here. Guys, we try to make this. These places are like hotel rooms, right? For business, it's a hotel room for business. So. The person who's renting this daily rental, you want it to be nice and clean and spick and span for you, for them and their clients. Mm -hmm. So you want it to be as, as clean as possible. You don't want to have any here, any, you know what I'm saying? any dirt, no fingerprints, you know what I'm saying? We don't have, you know, like on the chairs, we make sure everything is nice and clean, the bowl is clean, you know what I'm saying? The glass is clean, you know, no fingerprints, no, you know, shampoo splashes or anything like that, you know? We make sure everything is clean. On the furniture, there's no, make sure there's no, um, 
no chemicals, fingerprints, anything like that. We just make sure it's nice and clean on the the hair stuff. You know, on the not the hair, the hair dryer. Make sure there's no fingerprints. It's nice and clean. You know, that's pretty much what I do to make sure the next tenant is good. Yeah, make sure door handles are clean. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. <coughs> Guys, we gotta go. Everything is scheduled. I had my alarm went off. That means I gotta be at the next location. Everything is cleaned. The code is in. That door 112 is ready to go. Double check it. Go. The door is set. It's clean. All the toiletries in the bathroom is good. I'm gonna empty the garbage. You see, there's smoke here, right here. Ain't no one in the parking lot yet. Just brunch right there is not open yet. So, not just brunch, um, just brunch is open, they open at 8, breakfast, Marlowe's, Marlowe's open at 11, so, they open at 11, so, um, their staff don't come in until maybe 9, there's a few of them here already, but they, they, they don't come in until 9, 10 o'clock. Just burn staff comes in earlier because they open at eight or or um tenants they'll be in at, at like the barber the barber in the front it's a Saturday guys so the barber in the front they're already here cutting um, the barber in the back she's already here cutting this is our second or third client <laughs> it's just seven Seven, eight o'clock, seven fifty, um, and then here's the makeup girl. She's on her way. Um, she's pulling in now, so I'm assuming they got pants. So, you know, they pulling up right now. Everybody pulling up to work right now. Yeah. So, um, let me put my GPS in so I could move to the next location. I got a couple errands to run today, so. Put my next location in. And let's see. We heading to. Okay, so I'll get there in time. So I'm gonna head over right now. Get on up, man. Yeah, they got this nice M3 right here, guys. This nice M3. It's got gold rims. You know I'm a car guy. I'm gonna show you the cars when I see them. 
yeah so you know that's it that's what i do um i get up early <laughs> 5 30 6 come down to the salon make sure everything is you know clean um yeah make sure everything is clean and then i'm done by it head out and do head to the next you know whatever errands i have to run i'll head out and go get those done you know but yeah that's my life <laughs> you know get up super early go clean the salon and you know soon i'll be working on the, the peppers project so then i'll have that to go so in the morning time when i come here i'm going to do what i got to do here and then head over to the peppers project and then i'll be there all day pretty much at, at the peppers project um you know doing what i got to do there so the peppers project we're gonna have, be building out that space and you know i'll film all of that for you guys to see when you know the progress and what i'm doing there and then eventually when we're done and open i'll be able to you know show the day-to-day -day operations and what i do i'll have a lot more doing at that point in terms of um you know the cooking and the staff and the, you know what i'm saying all that stuff i'll have um i'll have you know footages of that once we open you know and then you know you'll use you'll probably see me not probably you'll see me more going shopping for the restaurant going to restaurant depot and all the suppliers and you probably see me doing most of that um, once I get started once we're open but yeah it's a journey guys I'm doing all of this I'm, I'm, I'm but yeah you'll see me you know working on the peppers project once we get our permits we haven't got our permits yet guys we're working on it um, close we're real close um the uh the lady that's doing the reviewing the plan review she she said to make one correction we need to add some sewer lines just a drawing of just a some lines pretty much on that plan so once my architect gets that done and forward it resubmit she should be able to sign off on it so she said um, once we get that done just shoot her an email you know and, and she'll she'll take care of it for us real nice lady over there by um by the zoning and planning um it, it, it was a lot of back and forth but yeah it was a lot of back and forth why did this thing let me come right here hold on guys let me see what's up saying to take pleasant to the road rest the road alright guys just give me one second I'm just trying to figure out oh it, it had the GPS it was taking me on this road I was wondering why it was doing that but I figured it out what happened is it's it's um it's 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 taking me this way because of the um taking me this way because there's traffic on the highway down there so that's why it took me this way I was wondering why it take, takes me on this road but yeah uh, it's about to <laughs> be blocked up down the street so sometimes I don't want to follow this GPS but in the long run if you if you drive your own way you get stuck so sometimes it's best to just follow the GPS they <laughs> GPS know what's going on down the road uh, apparently they have some construction going on down there so it, it let me exit soon as i got on the highway it, it told me to exit so yeah so you know um i don't remember what i was saying but yeah guys um this is live i'm, I'm filming this live so there's things that you know you're gonna see me talking in the middle of a conversation and i forget what i'm saying it's not edited it's not planned it's just life every day i'm just speaking live what i'm you know whatever comes to my mind i, I speak it you know what i'm saying so but yeah i got done with the salon there's nothing i'm gonna oh i was talking about the, the peppers project the she said she's gonna sign off on it once we make those corrections we've been back and forth a little bit but um as i said she we we are um yeah we've been back and forth a little bit on it in terms of changes 
but now we 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 got down to where it's just a line that needs to draw a sewer line they need to put that sewer line showing that it's existing and then she said she'll sign off on it from there so um let's hope on by monday tuesday i'll be able to get a stamped plan we could go get our permits from the city itself right so yeah stay tuned guys i'm on it it's a saturday i'm just gonna run some private errands now um head back home and then i'm gonna do some some um editing because i have like two days of editing to do to drop those videos um this is on a saturday but you won't see this video until maybe monday or tuesday so just stay tuned guys i'm on it i'm working on it um hopefully you guys enjoy what you're watching as again it's a talking video it's a it's a it's a video of my life every day and what i do every day it might not be a how-to video or anything let me show you why the gps said i should come this way so let me flip this around so it's a good thing i came off guys so if you look all the way down there on the highway there's traffic down there backed up so it backed up it start backing up right there so the gps had I guess it's seen it knows that and it told me to get off on this exit right here but if you look all the way down there I don't know if you could see it in the camera but all the way down there there's traffic came to a standstill that traffic just just came to a standstill pretty much so that's why it told me to come off here so I'll, I'll get to where I'm going I should be there at 8 30 GPS says I'm gonna get there exactly 8 30 yeah so you know you know thank you thank you again for the subscribers 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 thank you all who out there and watching this um thank you as i said this video right here i'm ju jumping back and forth the video this video won't be out until it's a saturday now but it won't be you won't be seeing it until maybe tuesday um before i drop it um i have previous videos i have two days worth of videos for you know today which i'm gonna drop today saturday i have video to drop uh on on sunday you know from two days ago so this video won't be out until maybe monday or tuesday um sometimes the videos are long so i'll i'll do a, a full day recording and i'll split it in two because it's just too long right so i'll split it up for you guys make it a little bit shorter it's easier for you to you know watch 30 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half you know um some days i do a lot guys so because i'm doing a lot in that day it's like it's just too much so you know i'll split it up you know and then when i split it up now i have more content so i'll i'll drop half of it today and half of it tomorrow hence that's why i have footages for for you know the coming days so anyhow um stay tuned guys i'm on it i'm heading to the next location to do some errands um those errands i ain't gonna film those errands but i got you know all those things to do and then I'm gonna head home and do some some um, what do you call it? I'm gonna head home and do some uh, some editing. All right, so stay tuned, guys. Guys, this is a nice dually truck right here. It's one of those Ford F450. Is that a 450 or a 350? I think it's a 450. It's got nice wheels on it. Yeah, so I'm here guys, I'm on the road, I'm on the road, running errands. You know, so stay tuned, let's see how this Saturday goes. I don't know what else we have in store, but I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna do some painting tonight. Um, I'm here heading home. I'm gonna edit some video. I gotta go back on the road for a few and, and then come back to the house and do some more editing. So I'm just editing post and stuff today. Stay tuned guys, stay tuned.